Hi, and welcome to Comsky Corner. Today we're going to be talking about the performance of the CPU and embedded systems. This video is specifically for the new OCR GCSE Computer Science course. However, it's applicable for most exam boards. The first factor that affects the performance of the CPU is the clock speed. This is the number of pulses that the CPU's clock generates per second, so is therefore the processor speed. The clock speed is measured in hertz and also indicates the number of fetch, decode, and execute cycles that can run per second. For example, a processor might have a clock speed of 2.5 gigahertz, which means that that is 2.5 billion instructions fetch, decoded, and executed per second. The next factor that affects the performance of the CPU is cache size. Cache memory stores the frequently used data, and it's high-speed static random access memory, or SRAM, that a computer microprocessor can access more quickly than it can regular RAM. This is why it's more expensive, and why there's only limited amounts on a computer. It's also important to be aware of the fact that there are three main levels of cache, with level 1 being the quickest but having the lowest capacity. When data is required, the CPU looks at cache memory first. If not in cache, it looks in main memory. Data is copied from main memory into cache and then into the CPU. The last factor that we're going to discuss are processing cores. Many processors have multiple cores. A dual core processor has two cores working together, whereas a quad core has four. These cores can work simultaneously, fetching, decoding, and executing at the same time. However, remember that double cores does not necessarily mean double the performance, as some cores have to wait on others to catch up. Increasing any of the three factors mentioned today, clock speed, cache size, or number of cores, will increase the speed of the processor. Now let's have a look at embedded systems. An embedded system is a computer system that forms part of an electronic device, and it can be a dedicated or a control system. Although they can form part of one, embedded systems are very different from general purpose systems such as laptops and tablets, which are programmed to perform a wide range of tasks. As they were created for a single task, embedded systems have many advantages, including the fact that they can be small in size, low cost, reliable, robust, and can work efficiently from a small power source. Examples of embedded systems include smartwatches, dishwashers, sat navs, TVs, and microwave ovens. In this video, we have looked at the three factors that affect the performance of the CPU, clock speed, cache size, and processing cores, and how increasing any one of these will increase the CPU's performance. We have also looked at embedded systems, the definition, advantages, and examples. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. See you next time. Bye!